Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka And we are back with another X thread. It feels like poison coming out of my mouth, like needles flying from my teeth. Anyway, today we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh again, more specifically trade deals. One of the best parts of the trading card game is trading. And we've all been on the receiving end of the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals. I'm gonna start with one of mine, but I wanna see what all of you came up with. At Light of Destruction pre-release, I was convinced based on my pre-release polls that the Arcana Force monsters were crazy. And so I went around trading anything I could any shiny monster I picked up, including the pre release card Guardian of Order, for stacks of Arcana Force bulk. I was like wheeling and dealing for the lovers. This motherfucker thinks he's Sartorius. Let's see what all of you came up with. Garland says, I sold a Barone around release time to a friend for 60 quid. It soon hit 100. I sold that same friend a copy of Excel for 15. So basically, I've learned to never sell wind synchros. I have a similar Baron story. I bought this card for $120, as featured in the famous clip and then sold it to Ruxin for 100. Ruxin moved it for 80, and then it shot back up to 100, at which point I needed it for a deck again and purchased it for 100. Dyer says, at my first ever YCS, Charlotte 2020, Dyer, literally 11 years old. I traded a Kiss a Kill Frost I pulled for four generator tokens. At the time it was a bad deal. I traded a $20 card for four $1 cards, but now it's a bad deal for the other guy because the Frost is a penny and the tokens are for each. The generator tokens, in your defense, fuck, they're really cool. Industrial Illusion says, my childhood ripoff trade was a super rare PSV grave robber for a common SDJ poly. In the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that much. This is like a difference of $1. But Grave Robber was my sister's number one favorite card. She loved the art. So years later, I bought her a replacement copy. Aw. Guy at Locals consistently builds a deck, then trades it in for a cheaper deck. They went from full power, Danger, Thunder, Dragon, and Toss, to Orcus, to Necroz, to Valkyrie, to Noble Knights, to Witchcrafter. I traded someone a hidden arsenal Brianak in its heyday for an ultra rare misprint bottomless trap hole with no foil. It was a regular rare that they highlighted over, but I was a dumb kid. Gage? Gage has the best brain of anyone I have ever met. Like, this is something that only he would fall for. My entire locals used to trade by rarity. This meant every hidden arsenal card, a set of only secrets and supers, traded for insane value. A friend of mine traded a Mecha Phantom Beast Drake Sack at $100 for a $5 Gem Knight Pearl. Wah, oh, why? Why, 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 why? I don't want to hear that shit. Come on. I traded a My Friend Pearly I owned for an Evenly Matched. I wanted to own an Evenly to see if it went up in value. Then the Trap Trick Structure Deck was announced with a reprint of Evenly Matched. And then My Friend went up as well. Uh, pretty much every bad trade I've done in recent memory has involved exactly the Ultras from Amazing Defenders, which started at about $2 each and then overnight became like 90 While working as a TO at my locals, I had to get involved in a bad trade where someone scammed a kid out of Exciton at the height of its power. We got it resolved, but wow, was that uncomfortable. One sold a Shockmaster to a friend of mine. And it's full value of $70, it got banned three days later. And that's $70 in 2012 money. Now that's like the down payment on a house. I was a dumb and gullible high schooler. Zexel was new and I was collecting numbers. There wasn't a shop that hosted Yu-Gi-Oh back then, so we met at a jack-in-the-box on weekends. A guy traded me a number 10 they had pasted Sergeant Electro's art on top of. That's not even a scam, that's just a really weird story. When I was in 8th or ninth grade, my buddy traded me a Zen mains for a Worm Zero and some other Worm cards so he could make a big worm with future fusion. We knew the prices, but he didn't care because he wanted his boss monster and he opened the Zen mains in a pack. BK Sparks says my worst trade wasn't in Yu-Gi-Oh, but Pokemon pulled a holographic Articuno and traded it for a pincer. Turns out it was fake. Got it back when I told my mom and she went to get it back. A lot of these stories conclude with my mommy found out and beat down the door. <laughs> At the Duelist Nexus premiere, I traded a single Revolution Synchron for an ultimate rare Trickstar Licorice and an entire adventure engine. You plussed. I remember giving my older brother's friend Gold Series 3 Sirocco's Gales and Boras and my WCS 2009 Infernity promos. What did I get in return? Nothing. I just gave them to him because he was a cool guy. I gotta meet some of these kids, man. I got- wow. Pulled an ulti droll and lockbird the day they released. Young me didn't even know what a hand trap was at the time and traded it for my favorite deck core, Red Eyes. Looking back, I wasn't gonna use droll to its full potential and enjoyed summoning level 7 vanillas back in 2018, so that's bad. If there were enough Blackstone of Legend in there, it probably wasn't that bad of a trade. This card was like $60 for some reason. Remembered an actual bad trade, I pulled an ulti scrap twin at a sneak uh, when it was worth some money. I traded it for Gores, which was like $5, because my friend told me, Ultis are worth less than normal cards. And I just assumed that was true. This is like contacting Pokerus and being like, nah, man, I gotta, I gotta cure my Pokemon. I once traded these cards for the same ones from the collector tins in 2009 to a high school friend. 
thinking they were more expensive because they were limited edition. I have regretted it for a long time until I saw him at a yard sale selling them for 20 cents each. No. Oh, man. When I was in middle school, I fell victim to the ancient Mew is rare meme, and my dumbass traded $20 in a Subway gift card and five snack-sized bags of different types of chips for it. I put it in the most aged top loader I've owned since and have it to this day. I always thought it was like cool and rare anyway, because like, I didn't get to go see the movie in theaters. I saw someone trade Regulus for a pizza. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Depending on the quality of the pizza, this could be a pretty even trade. Back in like 2003, when I was like seven and Yu-Gi-Oh was first airing in my country, I made my parents buy me an OCG Koitsu for about $20 USD. I was amazed at how many stars this card had, the Japanese text, and the 3,000 in the card text. I was dumb. A friend wanted to buy or trade a bunch of my cash tier stuff for 75 quid, and then they all said, or you can have this if you want. I will take the Starlight. Back when I was 12, I traded a Light Pulsar from the first set it released in, I did not know the value, to someone who offered a troll token, a card of which apparently there were only two in the world. It's a piece of paper glued onto Assault Spirits. Okay, in their defense, if you're gonna scam someone, this is the funniest way to do it by a lot. In elementary school, I managed to nab a secret rare Black Rose for the most dog shit common trap ever, as the other person didn't understand synchros. I then turned around and traded my ultimate rare Shining Enforcer for my new dual spirit. It was cuter. Wow, this is incredible. Uh, I love that uh, this trade involves going around to the no synchro exes lobbies and being like, so since you're no synchro exes, I traded a thunder seahorse from a dragon ruler tin for some random pack filler water monsters for my first ever deck, water. <laughs> okay, in your defense, thunder seahorse is not a very good card. One of the most hyped and least played secrets of all time. I think you came out on top. You know, people are still playing sharks. I mean, not these sharks. When I was seven, I traded my blue eyes from LOB for the one from the structure deck uh, because it had the anime artwork and uh, that made it stronger. <laughs> when I was in elementary, I traded Pyramid of Light from the movie for what I thought at the time was raw. As a child, I couldn't read. I didn't realize until I got home it wasn't even raw. It was an extremely scuffed, obviously fake card with terrible art. When I got back into the game, I gave away my old bulk to whoever wanted to trade a locals. In that bulk was an ulti swaying rate. I traded it for a playset of Abyss Gunda and Gunda got limited three days later. So this isn't a Yu-Gi-Oh card trade, but I was at a WCQ in Australia where they were letting people in early if they had exactly the $15 entry fee. No shit, I saw someone trade a 20 for a 10 because they wanted to get into the venue early. <laughs> Me coming up to someone and checking out their wallet. Uh, this 20, um, value? I got a Retro Pack 2 Gores. It was grand prize in a card vending machine at an old card shop. I'd never been to Locals and I'd never seen a Synchro monster, so I traded the Gores for two Gaia. The week that Synchros came out, I remember Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth, was like... This was like gold at the card shop. Me and all of the other children knew that we wouldn't have the money to purchase the Stardust Dragons the people were currently beating our dick in with, and we certainly wouldn't have the money for a Goyo Guardian. But Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth, can attack over Stardust Dragon. So we were like constructing decks that could conceivably make Goyo just to make this card. And we were like, this thing was like the most I have ever invested in a dog shit card. I know that trading is the first word in the, in the name of this. It precedes both card and game. Oh, but after reading a lot of these, I am unsure if I ever want to trade again. Oh, geez. See you next time. Hopefully for something happier. I bought two copies of this back when it was $40. That's not a trade. You're describing a trade of money to a to a seller. Me, when I go to Target and purchase items with money. Oh, man. This has been kind of a mid-trade, to be honest.